there we go. Uh, my my uh, freshly shaven face. And plane should appear. Yeah, there we go. The thing is that um, we unlock something in three days. <laughs> so um, up till now, it will just look sort of the same. Not sure, I do. I do think the trees are way bigger now. I think I'm not sure. Anyway, um, welcome to the stream. Today we're playing plane. It's not plane spelled P L A Y N. It's uh, different. <laughs> But um, this is the plane we're on. It's a uh, sort of an island where time stopped, and time will continue to move if we meditate. Fair enough. But that's what what we're going to do today. We're going to meditate together in plane, and I can really recommend you use headphones or in ears or something. Because the sound is from the game is pretty amazing. Don't know if you hear it yet. Might be a bit soft. Wait. Check. Put a little bit louder. There we go. Hey, it's Chris. The developer of the game. Alright. He's um joining us today. Or at least saying hellos today hey ocean <clears throat> i do notice that is the chat appearing on the screen or not not sure oh so, thank you zef for hosting very cool uh so morgan says for some reason the game is not showing up I'm not sure why that is. Morgan. Hey, Jupiter girl. So nice of you to join us. Yeah. I think, uh, Morgan, you should definitely either refresh your browser or check if you can do it with another browser. If you're on mobile, mm, just close the app right again. Because there should be something to see. And it should be the beautiful plane we're on. With fireflies, other high trees, and birds. You don't hear, well, you hear an owl. And uh, you, you might hear a cat meow in the background. That is not part of the game. There are no cats in the game, as far as I am aware. <laughs> um, okay, let's, let's do a quick check here. Do the progress. Our progress is three more days, as I said, to thunderstorms, the story chapter. That means next time we'll definitely meditate with a thunderstorm. I don't know how that's going to be. We'll find out. Uh, some people in the stream already know how it's going to be. That's awesome. And we have a streak going because that's, that's the way to keep the campfire burning. Our streak is 28 days. And we unlock some achievements, I think. Don't remember exactly, but let's go over it real quick. For the people new and not sure what to do. Let's talk to Fox. He'll explain us what to do. So we're going to meditate with the game. And um, we're going to do it rather straightforward. So, what's going to happen? Um, first of all, we're going to learn to observe ourselves, which sounds kind of weird, but it's really not. Throughout the day, you get a lot of uh, sensory input. Your eyes register so much things in your ears, and there's so much things happening, and meditation is a way to 
Just take a rest and, and see what's going on inside your mind. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to meditate and this is, I mean, it's sort of auditory ASMR, ASMR, maybe not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it qualifies for that. I saw the text shit. Greg is 100% uh, ASMR. I think he's at the point that he's eating the mic, the microphone. And when he's done eating the microphone, we'll see what happens. Uh, um, let's see. So imagine you are a room. Awareness is when you step outside this room and simply observe this room. You can do this practically using a technique of observing your thoughts, which is what playing will teach you. So the simple things rem sometimes reveal the most. When you watch for a thought to rise, that watchfulness is meditation. There are many levels to this method, however. You will discover this as you continue your meditation practice. So what do we do first? We anchor ourselves on the breath. Yeah, so you become aware of the breath and there will be a bubble on screen expanding. You just breathe in when the bubble gets bigger and breathe out when the bubble gets smaller. And you don't have to follow this bubble, it's just there to guide you. Um, next, we feel the physical sensation of the breath. So you feel the breath entering your body through the nose into your lungs, pushing down into your diaphragm or abdomen, then feel the breath leaving your body. But it's important. Thank you, Mr. Gaw, for subscribing. Very awesome. Awesome, awesome. Now, I will tell you how you can begin the meditation. Okay, so um, it's going to talk about the difference between thoughts and feelings. And um, a thought is anything that rises in your mind. It could be a past recollection. It could be an event, a thing, a sound, or a smell could be a judgment, a conclusion, or a question. Like, this is, why is, what is, will I, should I, is it? And you will notice these thoughts rising in meditation. Very normal. Actually, it would be really weird if you don't feel thoughts rising. That would probably mean you're sort of dead, probably. I don't know. It's normal to feel thoughts rising, to see them rising. And when a thought rises, what we do in this meditation, we tap our fingers. For me, it's going to be using the old mouse here, clicking it. But for you, you can just tap your finger and uh, you can also tap in your mind, so to say symbolically. But I think the physical act of tapping can be a, a lot of uh, really uh, help do it. So step one, breathe and be aware of your breath. Step two, when the thought rises, tap your finger and you can close your eyes once you settle in mm, let's see and we can choose where we want to meditate I forgot to put the poll up poll the poll up today I'm very sorry my dear streaming friends but we're gonna have to choose manually again last time we did we did stream didn't we I think we did stream and we did I'm not sure maybe we did the campfire um, if you want to meditate somewhere specific, let me know. Yeah, last time was campfire. Uh, well, let's go for the water this time. We're gonna, we're gonna either go shoreline or stream. Um, it's nighttime. It's pretty, pretty chill. I think we're gonna go for the stream this time. All right. I see one time shore. Another shore. Are you sure? <laughs> uh, fine. Two versus one. And that means we're going to meditate at the shore. Clear sky, wind, cloudy and windy, or rain. Or rain and wind. Last time we did, pre I'm pretty sure we did definitely rain. And... God, you people are rainy. I mean, it actually is rainy here in Berlin. Uh, okay, well, 
Looks like we're going to go for rain. <clears throat> so, at the shoreline, with rain, again, <clears throat> use headphones for the best experience, and I can recommend you make yourself comfortable right now. If you're sitting on a chair, I also sit on a chair. I'm just going to sit like a little bit like cross-legged. I'm not going to sit full lotus, but just a way that you can, I don't know, sit comfortable, but also sort of upright, like you're not going to fall asleep. It's important. <clears throat> so make yourself comfortable and plug in those old headphones or in-ears and get ready to meditate. Are you ready? I'm pretty ready. 15 minutes. If you find it way too hard, 15 minutes, it's fine. You know, if you if this is your first time, just do as much as you can. And remember to just become aware of your breath. Tap your finger when a thought comes up. And that's it. Hello, wonder. I will guide you. Breathe in and exhale. Use the bubble on a screen for guidance, but you don't have to. Keep your awareness on your breathing. Feel the breath in your body when a thought rises in your mind, simply tap your finger. So don't encourage any thoughts, but also don't resist any thoughts. Just watch them pass by. Let's close our eyes and let's begin.
you can slowly open your eyes. And I'd like to hear from you what you experience during this meditation. You can type it in the text chat on Twitch or in the group meditation chat on Discord or you can join the voice chat, whatever you feel like. And we can talk about what you experienced. But you can just share it. <clears throat> For me, I was a bit sleepy. So I had uh, sleepy dips, so to call it. This is where you sort of literally feels like you're, uh, you slowly drift away into a little bit of a sleepy consciousness stream. And then you realize, wait, I'm actually not going to sleep right now. <laughs> and then you become aware again. Another thing for me was... <clears throat> um, actually, that was mostly it. It was a, bit, a little bit of a sleepiness. And then you get these thoughts that seem to be like a, a swamp where you can easily sink away in. I have to say, it, you know, it doesn't feel too bad to get sleepy. Um, it's just... You know, when you're sleepy, you're sleepy. You can't fight it too much. But I think for meditation, it's still important, you know, to get... Um, to be aware. To be aware of your sleepiness, too. And once you become aware of that, it also decreases sleepiness. Don't try to fight it, because you're going to have a hard time, and you're going to turn out way more sleepy than you were before. Um, so Ocean's Garden said, a lot of thought today. I was studying so much, and I felt that now. Yeah. It's, uh, it's normal when you study, where you have like a very demanding job, in terms of reason and logic, and the you know, attributes of your mind, the sort of the, the, the ones we use in communication and math and, you know, just the region and logic and these kind of things that will, that will also, it's like a machine that got warm, right? It's like, uh, your motor just got warm and then when you med meditate, it's slowly cooling off, but it's still, there's a lot of warmth coming from that reason and logic machine. So it needs to cool down, it takes time. Makes sense. Uh, Dizzy shared, my practice went well. I still could hear my fridge and the neighbors doing things and made a part of it, it by not being bothered by it. I also managed to keep my eyes closed the entire time. It became a habit to open them halfway through. That's cool. It's, um, I mean, there's two options, basically, to things going on in your surrounding noise or, or, you know, a lot of sounds. There's one where you reject it, you get annoyed by it, and you want to want it to stop. Or there's one where, which, you know, sounds easy, but it's not that easy, where you say, okay, this is part of my practice. The neighbor drilling. Even though, you know, I find it hard to meditate while someone is drilling. But let's say you hear your neighbors. That can become part of your practice. You know, could even if it's so distracting become your point of concentration. That you, you make it the point of your meditation to listen to that sound and observe it. And Jupiter Girl says, I became calm and sleepy during a meditation. Same here. It was a, a sleepy meditation <laughs> for me today, which is fine. I think that the most important thing is that you became aware of these things, right? Like, oh, a lot of thoughts going on or, oh. 
get sleepy, well, you became aware of that. And if you didn't meditate, maybe you wouldn't be aware of that. And then it would be 12 at night, midnight, and you would be like, oh wait, I'm actually so incredibly tired. I didn't notice before. Well, now you did. <laughs> now you know, well, maybe it's good to, you know, hit the hay a little bit earlier today. All right, well, thank you so much. Um, we can always do another session, but I find that up till now, we just did one session and that's, that's enough for now. Uh, unless there's like a storm of people saying we need to do another session. I, um, I think that was it for today. So next week, Wednesday, we'll see how far the trees have grown and we'll be able to meditate with thunderstorm. So, be there or be, I don't know if you're square, but just be there because it's, it's going to be thundering. <laughs> uh, thank you everyone for joining and have a great day. Bye-bye everyone.